A group of demonstrators making a lot of noise with drums and pots and pans outside the Fulton County Jail late into the night. They're demanding the release of a woman accused of setting fire to that Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was killed. Natalie White arrested yesterday, the same day Brooks was laid to rest. Nick Sturdivant is live outside the Fulton County Jail for this, this morning. Nick, she's expected to face a judge today. Natalie White. Yes, yeah, she she's expected to make her first appearance at noon later today, and it's much quieter this morning compared to late last night. As you mentioned, people gathered here outside of the Fulton County Jail demanding that Natalie White be released from jail. This is what it looked like last night. You can hear people, as you mentioned, beating on drums, shaking tambourines, and using other things to make noise outside of the jail. Authorities believe White is one of the people who set the Wendy's on University Avenue in Southeast Atlanta on fire more than a week ago. Her attorney says she did not start the fire and says pictures will prove that. Her attorney also says uh, he had been negotiating her surrender with the DA's office since Sunday. He says she was taken into custody by U.S. Marshals at his office. He believes she should be granted bond because she is from the area and she has no criminal record. When you look at it, uh, I think she's clearly to get bond, and I think the only fair thing to do is to give her, her signature bond. And again, Natalie White is expected to be in court, make her first appearance at noon and coming up at 630. Hear from her attorney, also hear from the attorneys of the Brooks family on the connection between Natalie White and Rayshard Brooks.